What's poppin' guys, it's your boy 1904 Comics. Today I want to talk about an app that I just recently found called Touch Portal. Now it's a macro app. So basically what you do is you assign buttons to do different tasks. So what you see here is my main page. When you uh, when you get the app, it has nothing. It's just blank. So I had to input all these uh, buttons myself and I had to assign the tasks for each one to do something. So basically what you would do, you would click up just an empty spot. And you see how long it takes for it to load. It's a little laggy. There it goes. You can input the name and stuff like that. Your button. You could uh, have it. Say you want to input shortcuts. You would go to key press. You would type in your shortcut. And then that would be your button. Um, you can have it start an application. Um, I have. I'll show you right now on the main page. It has something. Just go directly to like uh, Google and to Twitter and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, so right here you would go to change icon. Now say you don't want to put an icon, you don't want to, you know, you don't need a fancy button. You could just type it out and that that'll be your button or just have the name. So uh, let me show you. This is my main page, Streamlabs. I have this assigned to go to a certain page. So when I click it, it'll go to this page you see right here. And each one of these does a, a different task. Um, the main reason I found this is because I'm starting to stream games a little more. And uh, there's different on um, on Streamlabs. There's different scenes you could choose to do different things, and then it's like a list. So the left hand side on uh, Streamlabs would be like kind of around here. Um, you would choose your scene. So you have to fumble around and scroll and find the scene you want. And it's you know a little bit of a pain. This way, all I gotta do is just tap the tablet. It automatically does it. I don't gotta fumble around and try to you know find what I'm looking for. You know, you're playing a game. You don't want to take that time to you know kind of look and okay, which one do I want? You don't want that. You just want a quick tap. So this is my Streamlabs uh, page. Let's go back to the main. Now Steam, Twitter, YouTube, Google. Those I tap the button and it automatically goes to the page. Nothing special. There's no page for those. DaVinci Resolve is a um, video editing program. That one has a little page I made. Nothing too crazy on that one. I didn't want to take the time to input all these shortcuts and stuff like that. So I just want to give you guys a demonstration of what it can do. Um, this opens up the program, so I click that, it automatically goes, I can import something, I can undo a mistake, I can split a clip, and the home obviously goes back to my main page. And um, GIMP is the same thing, that's for um, fixing your photos and stuff like that. It's kind of the same thing as DaVinci Resolve, you know, you can cut, paste, stuff like that. So let me take you to Streamlabs. And there you go. That's what's on my tablet. Let me kind of show you. I don't want tablet to fall. There's my tablet. Now go live. Go live will take me to the setup page. It doesn't actually go live. You have to set it up still. You would have to input the name of your live. Do you want to, you know, private and stuff like that? Then you have to enter. But the rest are automatic. You want to enter live? You just tap it and it ends. You want to start recording, kind of like what I did right, or excuse me, what I'm doing right now. I just you know hit my record and once I'm done I will hit stop now these are my scenes where I told you about you know to the left hand side you're gonna have to scroll through and fumble around try to find your scenes I'll show you those in a second um, mute and unmute I'll show you it works let me these buttons if you tap them it doesn't do nothing this is just the application that's on your computer to set up the, the button so if I tap like buy it just that <laughs> it just takes me to that so I have to actually tap the tablet so mute let me, uh, let me mute it. One, two, one, two, one, two. It works. Now let me show you the um, scenes because that's the cool part. Um, right now you're looking at scene in game. Okay, my bad. That's in game. So obviously, so I've seen a tablet, you would see my game, whatever I'm playing at the time. But say, you know, I just want to start my live, want to give people a couple minutes to, uh, fill up the room and um, I would go right here it says uh, starting I would tap it and that'd be my starting page I would give people five minutes or say I'm doing something and I just want people to you know kind of just give me a couple of minutes I could tap that and people will just have to wait once I'm ready boom I tap in game here I am my game's about to start you know hey what's up guys blah 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 you can start your uh, your live now say someone knocks on the door obviously right here be back i will tap the tablet and it'll take you to that screen 
be back soon. You know, you want to use the restroom, you got to let your dog out. Someone's at the door, whatever you want, come back, tap, in game. And uh, same thing for buy. You can click buy. Oops. There you go. You click buy. Um, people can start leaving the, the live. You can put some info right there for people to see as they're, as they're leaving. And um, that's that. So, yeah, so it's way better than having to scroll around the damn different scenes and choose the one you want. Just a quick tap, and um, you're good to go. So, that's a plus. Now, this test. Um, like I said, if you don't want, you know, to input these cool little um, icons, or maybe you can't find some, you could just, you know, write the name. You know, just look like this. Nothing, nothing special, but it works. Now, I have a, a test because, um, check it out. But I still want you guys to be able to see my my main monitor, so I have to have a test button. That way I know to erase it too when I'm done. Now my monitor should be kicking in sometime soon. Come on, Streamlabs. There it goes. All right, cool. It's working. Now let me show you, like I said, those uh, just direct to the, the web page. So if I click um, Google, it's going to open up Google. Nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, so that's cool little macros you can set up. Man, this this uh, Streamlabs is a little slow. Um, let's try like Twitter. If I click Twitter real quick, that's that. Um, damn. Once again, Streamlabs, they're slacking. Whatever. But you guys get the drift, or just <laughs> let's go test. Anyways, so yeah, guys, that's what it does. You can set it up to do different things. It's a little tedious, but it's nothing too hard. Um, it's absolutely free, but there is a catch. You get a certain amount of buttons for free. And if you like it and you want to add pages and more buttons to each page, it is going to cost you. It's not a lot. It's a one-time fee. Um, I think it's only 10 or $12, so it's not too expensive. So you give it a try, and if you like it and you kind of see yourself wanting to use more buttons and add pages, you just pay your $10, $12 fee, and uh, you're good for, you know, forever. So um, that's that, guys. Once again, it's called Touch Portal. Like, subscribe, share. Peace out, people. Till next time. Laters. Wow, that took a long time to load. Jesus. Peace out, people.